My name is Michael, I'm a criminologist based in Australia. Um, coercion is a really important concept for young people to understand. Um, coercion really means that someone is making us do something uh, that we wouldn't otherwise have done if we felt like we had a choice. Um, but we don't always know that we're being coerced. Um, so we can think about the pressure that is on young people, particularly teenagers, in their friendships or, you know, when they're looking for a romantic relationship or they're in a romantic relationship. A lot of pressure on young people to say yes, basically, to say yes. There's a lot of pressure on young people to say yes. And when you don't want to do something, there are particular ways that people can coerce you and you don't notice it, maybe. So one way is persistence. So someone keeps asking you again and again. So, you know, to ask for a nude, for example. Yeah. Will you send me a photo? Will you send me a pic? Will you send me a pic? I just want a pic, right? And it's just, it's coming time and time again. Same with sex. Like, can, can we have sex? Can we have sex? Can we have sex? And just again and again and again. And you've already said no and someone's persisting. So this is a form of coercion. It, they are wearing you down, right? You've already made a decision, so why aren't they backing off, right? So persistence is one thing we need to look out for. Um, the other one is exchange. So it's like, um, well, if you send me a, a pic, then, you know, maybe we'll start a relationship, right? Um, if you really cared about me, if you really liked me, I don't know if you really like me. I, I, I won't know unless you send me a pic. That's what people do when they like each other. They send pics, right? So there's this exchange aspect where if you do what I want, I'll give you something you want in return. Um, that's not really how like sex and sexuality works, right? It's not an exchange, right? It is an agreement, right? Where we agree to do something together that we like. It's not an exchange where I get this and then you get, you get this. So exchange is something that we need to sort of think about. And then threat, you know, threat. Well, you know, I'm going to break up with you if you don't send me a pic. I, you know, I, I don't know if you're serious unless I get this from you. I don't know, you know, all of our friends are having sex. We're not. So I don't know if I really want to stay in this relationship. Maybe I can get sex from somebody else. Um, so the, the threat, th this is coercion, okay? And this is not okay. I mean, this, this really signals that someone is trying to sort of take control um, of, of our body, take control of these pictures, take control of whatever away from us. Um, young people generally overestimate how much, um, how often nudes are, are being sent. Um, you know, young people, teenagers are actually much more sensible about nude images than adults. Um, you know, the people that most often send nude pics are like 18 to 25, right? Under 18, people are like, most people say no. Right? So everyone's talking about these images and everyone's talking about sending pics, but actually it's a very small group of young people that, that do this, that actually will take a nude image of themselves and send that nude image to, to other people. So don't assume that everyone's doing it just because everyone's talking about it. You know, they're really not. Um, and look, it, it, it's a really, it is a really risky thing to do. There's no two ways about it, right? So, when, when you take an image and you share it with someone that you trust um, and they keep it private, okay, great. But that is a lot of trust to put in someone. And the issue that we have is, I'm sorry to say, but particularly for, for teenage boys, saying a lot of things to teenage girls to get pics and then it becomes like baseball cards. It becomes like something that you show your friends to be like, oh, well, 20 girls have sent me a nude. You've only got five. You know, I've done research, I've talked with young men who have got folders on their phone of all the nudes they've collected, and they're not using these images necessarily for sexual purposes, they are showing these images to their friends. But what they're saying to teenage girls is, oh, well, I want to be your boyfriend. That's what they're saying to get, to get the image. So it's, it's, it's really something that we've got to keep in our mind, you know, all the time, um, whether we're teenagers, whether we're adults, is once that image is out there, it really is out there. Um, and we have lost a lot of control um, over, you know, over, over our body.